Welcome to this week's Overwatch news without the bullshit. Let's get started. This week saw a number of heroes receive balance changes. Brigitte's shield bash damage has been reduced from 50 to 5 and will no longer be able to bash through barriers. However, to offset this change, her passive healing cooldown has been reduced from 1.5 to 1 second. The healing itself now lasts 6 seconds, up from the previous of 5, which means it will heal 100 damage, as opposed to 80. Moving on to Doomfist, targets hit by his rising uppercut, now regain control in 0.6 seconds, down from the previous 3 seconds. His seismic slam ability range has also been reduced by 25%, and no longer affects a target's air control. His ultimate has also been changed, with the inner damage ring radius being increased from 1.5 meters to 2 meters. The damage of the outside ring has been decreased from 300 to 200. All of these changes are designed to give players more counterplay against Doomfist. Bastion is the next hero to be changed, with his recon mode ammo capacity being increased from 25 to 35. His weapon spread during sentry mode now also decreases by up to 33% while firing. McCree is next to receive a buff, with his secondary fire damage being increased from 45 to 55. Soldier 76 mains will be happy with his upcoming change, which now allow him to freely aim his helix rockets during his ultimate. Finally, Torbjorn's ultimate damage has been increased from 130 to 160 damage per second. There has also been a slight change to Bob, which makes him entirely gold, when players equip the golden gun for Ash. A good change all round. This week also saw the start of the Winter Games event for 2018. The event which will be running until the 2nd of January, features a number of new skins for players to enjoy. Reinhardt is covered in more gold, than the average Eastern European second-hand car dealer. Symmetra gets an Assassin's Creed symbol on her head. Zariere looks like that uncle who offers you beer at every opportunity. Ash gets a slight reskin. Jungrat is now the second most satanic character who has a Santa costume. Widow looks like a 40 year old mother who just discovered power walking. Bastion is objectified. Mercy mains have their new standard uniform. And Lucio is a figurehead for fur is everywhere. The event also sees two game modes returning from previous years. The first is Yeti Hunt, which sees one buffed Winston take on 5 maze. Players who want to dominate on this game mode can watch my dedicated guide at the end of the video. The second game mode is some fucking sick joke by the developers, combining my two least favorite things to create this monstrosity. Viewers are encouraged to never play this. Many players may have noticed that besides the cosmetics, there were not any new additions to the event this year. Daddy Jeff himself has addressed these concerns and created a long list of new features being worked on. He makes a point to acknowledge the lack of recent communication, but states the team is currently working very hard for future content. Moving on to the Overwatch League, the full schedule of games for the second season has been announced, which sees the regular season lasting from the 14th of February to the 25th of August. Along with this, in-game Overwatch League skins now come with their alternate variants for free, however, players are encouraged to wait a while longer to buy any new skins, as the 8 new teams will likely become available in the coming months. In other news, 92 of the top 500 Chinese accounts were boosted, and an American player joins an all-Korean contenders team. Hey.